All right, so very quickly, let's create a component class, which I said I would create in, uh, in this video. So let's create a new package. We'll just call this components, right? And then we can create a brand new Java class. Call that component with a without an S. And let's do abstract cl uh, class. It's going to be a blueprint class. Um, now we're going to have a component class and. Oops, we're going to have a private static int uh, ID counter. And then we're going to have a private int UID. All right, this is, these are just identification um, um, variables. And then we're going to have a public game obje object called game object, set that equal to null initially. And then public void start. You'll remember we made a start method in the last video in the game object. Public void update. We're gonna pass in the date and uh, the delta time. And we'll do public void void render. Pass in a graphics uh, a graphics component, and then a on collision. And now let's do that in a, another video. Uh, do not write what I'm writing. This is simply for me. Public void on Alright. Don't write what I just wrote above. Anything I ever type in that says to do and appears in yellow in my tutorials don't write that that's like my personal notes okay so public void generates id so this method is going to do if this dot uid is equal to negative one then we're going to do this dot uid equals to id counter plus plus all right and then we're just going to do public void on destroy and now we are going to start filling in some of the contents of this game objects class really quickly. So over here, we're just going to uh, type this in. This dot components equals uh, to new array list, and we're going to type this in. All right, private final list of components. Right, I'm just going to import this class. Make sure you import it from the uh, package we just made, and then of course import the utilities list, not the AWT list. And let's import this. There we go. What did you do? There we go. So make sure you got that those two lines of code down. And then we are going to do a uh, some basic stuff here. So we're going to do if this dot is dead equals to true. In the die, uh, the uh, you know kill yourself. Not kill it. Sorry. In the <laughs> die method, we're just gonna do for component C and uh, okay. Wait one second. Let's create a, a a few more methods. I just realized we are missing some. So we'll do public list list of components called get all components. And we're just going to return this dot components. All right, there we go. Now we can do for each component, call each one C, and we'll just do get all components, and we'll do C dot on destroy. Call that method. So every time we destroy this game, a game object. So let's say, like in Minecraft, when we break a glass, uh, a grass block, if there's any components attached to that grass block object, it's just going to call on destroy. Right, so the moment that that block gets broken, all of the components will call a method called on destroy, and we can type whatever we want in that destroy method. We could have it respawn, right? Something like that. Okay, so now we're going to do is uh, fill in the start method. Um, so we'll do for each component in the get all components. We're gonna do. We actually do not need these. We'll just do uh, C dot start. If you'll remember, we made that method in a previous video. And then right here, we'll do a for each component C in get all components. We'll just do C dot update, pass in the delta time. All right. And then let's create a method called 
add component. I'm going to pass in the component we're adding. And we're just going to do c.generate ID. This dot will do components dot add c. And then we're going to do c.game object equals to this, right? Remember this game object thing that we made in the components class? This is basically the parent object. It's what, it's the, um, we're basically telling the component, the object, this object is the one that you belong to, right? I'm your parent, right? So it's basically doing that. Okay, so then we're going to add a method called remove components. And I don't think we're actually going to use this method in the series, but let's make it anyways, in case you guys want to use it or add some stuff. So we're going to do public t extends boolean. Uh, that is not right. Public t extends components. <laughs> Whoops. Void remove components and we'll pass in a class type, generic type, and we'll do components class. Okay, what is this t? Well, we're just saying that um, we just have to pass in a class. And as long as this class is a component, right, then, you know, it, it checks out. Okay, so then we'll do for int i equals to zero. i is smaller than components.size. And we'll do i plus plus per iteration. What did I do wrong? Oh, com get all components.size. Then we'll do component C is equal to components dot get, God damn it, get all components dot get I. And we'll check if the components class dot is assignable from C dot get class. Then we're going to do components dot remove, get all components dot remove I and then we're just gonna do a return. All right, there we go. And then let's create an so this just removes components from the game object. Then we're gonna do a public T. So if the class that we pass in, or it's gonna return a class that is a version of a component. So we're gonna say if it has components class. Okay, I did not get that explanation right. I'm just realizing, so ignore what I just said. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to do... Okay, sorry. So what does this line do and this line do? Well, this just says... This basically just defines what T is. T is like a generic type, right? Because in the parameters, we're going to pass in a class of type T. But what is T? Well, here, all we're saying is, well, T is just a class that extends to the component class. It's a it's a version of a component, right? And then, so that's what T is. And then in the parameters, we're just gonna pass in a class and if that class is of that type, in which case this type is a class that extends components, then everything works. All right, so then we're gonna do for each components uh, C and get all components going to do if the component class dot is assignable from c dot get class then we're going to return true otherwise we're going to return false okay so now we'll do public t extends components Th this method by the way should be pretty self-explanatory if the game object has this component we specify in the parameters then it's going to return true otherwise it returns false all right so we'll do a uh, get components class alright so we're just gonna get a component so let's say a player has I don't know a walk uh, a, cl a component that allows them to fly right let's just say the player has a component that ha allows them to fly we're gonna say alright well we want that component so we'll do call the get component method and we'll pass in the class that um, that component class that uh, we want to get as in as a form of in form of a game object. Sorry, fuck, I cannot talk. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, 
yeah, you know what? It's just easier to see it in action, so you'll see in our next video. So we'll do component C and get all components. Do if component class dot is assignable from C dot get class. And we're gonna try to return component class dot cast C. And we're gonna catch a class catch exception called E. And if we catch that, we're going to print its stack trace and assert false error casting component. And then by default, we will return null. So we're just we're just getting the component, right? So it's a little hard to understand if you're a beginner, but essentially, this component there's a difference between uh, the class of an object and the object itself. Now the class of the object is just, it's basically just a type, right? It's a type. Um, it's like saying, it's like if you have a pit of animals, you have a dog, a cat, and a rhino, I guess, I don't know. Let's say the dog's name is Buck, right? The dog's name is Buck. The di getting getting the dog you can do two things in this case you can say all right get me the dog and then it'll give you buck the dog or you can say give me buck and you you know then you get buck right um so yeah the class is like the type and the game and the actual object is the dog right um it, that was a terrible analogy but sue me uh <laughs> Okay, I think I think that's actually it. Oops. Um, and next video, what are we doing next video? I believe. Oh, we should integrate it into the scene. Okay, so in the scene, or actually, let me check. Do we have any to dos here? No, we do not. Yeah. So next video, we'll integrate it into the scene. See ya.